a child. My family was so mean to me that they made me sleep outside. But turns out they weren't my real parents. Rachel! Hi, guys. Uh, Rachel, where are you? Oh, uh, guys, I, I'm, I'm right behind you. I'm right I'm right here. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh. Ow. Yeah, you guys always lose track of me, but that's okay. Did you guys need something? Rachel, why are you hiding from us? Uh, I, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to hide, I promise. Yeah, what were you trying to do? Mom, I swear I wasn't trying to do anything. I was like, literally just standing right behind you guys. It's like you hate this family for some reason. You're such a waste of space. You're so useless. Guys, can you stop? Like, I hear this at every single day. It really does not have that much effect on me anymore. Like, you can insult me all you want. Why are you such a disappointment? P well, maybe it's because I have a terrible mother! Okay, wait, maybe I shouldn't say that out loud. Okay, that, that one was just in my head. But mom, I'm sorry. I'm a disappointment. I will try better next time. Why don't you try to work harder? But I do try. I try all the time, guys. Okay, listen, I promise I will try to do better and make you guys proud, okay? You better. You are literally so lazy and worthless. Ugh, guys, I get this type of treatment every single day. You would think by now that they would stop insulting me because it's like, okay, I hear it every day, but no. They gotta keep on going and like, it makes me so sad, but I can't let them know that. I gotta pretend like it doesn't bother me, so maybe, just maybe, they'll stop, but I highly doubt it. So, um, what are you guys up to today? Now listen, we're going to spend money. When we get back, this place better be spotless, or you'll be sleeping outside. No, not outside again. I do not want to sleep outside again. Let's go. Okay, well, guys, I promise I will have this place spotless for you. One time, I had to sleep outside, and there's this crazy neighborhood dog, and he, he came looking for me, and he almost tried to bite my toe off. It was a terrifying experience, so I got to make sure this house is spotless, like head to toe. This place needs to be clean, so um, I'm gonna get started on that so when they get home, I don't have to sleep outside. Okay, okay, I gotta finish. I gotta finish vacuuming before they get home, okay? Okay, finish the carpet. I'm almost done, oh my gosh. I think they're gonna be so pleased when they get home and done. Okay, now I just gotta wait until they get home. They're gonna be so happy with me. Like, look how clean this place is. You could not find any piece of dust here. Oh wait, they're home. I'm so excited to see their reactions. They're actually gonna be so happy with me for once. Rachel, what is this? Why is it so clean? Cause it cleans it, don't you love it? I worked so hard to make sure it's perfectly clean for you guys. Isn't it amazing? This is Horrid! It's too clean! Wait, what? What do you mean it's too clean? There's no such thing as too clean. Like, what? What? Where is the homey feel? Well, it's still here. I mean, we got a fireplace. We got all of the food out and stuff. Like, the homey feel is, like, still there, Dad. I promise. Isn't home the people that you're with not the level of, like, clean your houses I've, I've never heard that one before but uh my parents are a little weird there's a balance you're so stupid for not knowing the difference oh uh, just go to the city and get us some food to eat um okay I i'm so sorry for making the place too clean um me and your mom are hungry hurry up could i maybe just like get like a little thing like maybe just like an appetizer i don't even need a full meal no food is only for good people you can eat once you've proven that you're worth something <sighs> okay mom i'll go get the dinner and i promise i'll make sure i prove myself so i can eat dinner and Dad, I'm so sorry for making the home not homey and- Hurry up! We're starving! You better not mess this up! Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going! All right, I'm running to the grocery store, like literally we're renting. I need, I need a car. I need to make sure I get everything my parents need. I really just don't want them to be mad at me. Like, um, okay, let's, I know they want sandwiches. Oopsies, oh, put the sandwich back. In. Oh, I gotta close that. Okay, okay. Gotta pick up some milk too, because like if we don't have milk with our cereal, what are we doing? Not living life to the fullest, that is what. Um, oh, 
I don't need Gatorade. I don't need that or whatever generic juice that is. I don't need that. Um, okay, okay. Maybe bag of Doritos is a must. Maybe I can sneak some of the crumbs later. That would be amazing. All right, I think that seems about it that they wanted me to pick up. So I guess I'll go check out now. Oh God, oh gosh. <laughs> Uh, okay, sir. Hi, I'm ready to check out. Hello, is this all? Uh, yeah, it is. Just a few things I gotta pick up for the parents, you know. They just sent me out to grocery stop. Stop. <laughs> grocery shop for them. Great. Let me just get this. Oh. Um, is everything okay? Did something like not ring in right? It's you. I, I don't know what you mean by it's you. Can I just pay for my groceries, please? What's a troublemaker like you doing in my store? I'm not a troublemaker. Why do you think I'm a troublemaker, sir? Did I do something to, like, offend you? Like, I'm sorry that maybe I, I grabbed a squeaky car. Like, I I don't know. Uh, I'm a friend of Ryan's. I know how much trouble you've caused them since they had to adopt you. He tells everybody how much he hates me? This is the absolute worst. But, like, sir, I haven't done anything to my parents. I've been trying to be nice to them, and I know they did a really good thing by adopting me, but... I bet you aren't even here to buy these items. You're here to steal them! What? No! I am not here to steal them, I swear! I mean, I have money! Let me just pay for them! Get out of my store before I call the cops! What? What? No! No, sir, please just, like, let me buy the groceries. I really, really need these. Like, you don't need to call the cops. Scram, you rat! Sir, please! I just need these groceries for my parents. If I don't bring them back, they're gonna hate me. Get out! Go! Okay, okay, I'm going. Only because you're being really, really mean to me. Not because you told me to go. Go! Okay, 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 I'm going, I'm going. Okay, we will. What am I supposed to do now? I have to go home with no groceries to my parents? They're definitely gonna be so much more mad at me now. Oh, this is gonna be the worst. Oh, uh, I am so nervous. I don't wanna go back home because they're gonna yell at me. And wait, there's a car at my house and I'm not sure whose car it is. And wait, they're talking outside. I'm so curious. My dad never talks to anybody outside. What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna hide behind this guy, Randy. I don't know. I don't know who he is, Mama. Hide behind his car. Look, man, I really need your help. My wife and I have been traveling for years looking for our long lost daughter. Ooh, a long lost daughter? That's kind of interesting. Um, I wonder if my dad knows anything about it or could help him out. I mean, probably not. My dad's not really a helpful guy, if you can tell. He has blonde hair and loves the color green. Oh. That's crazy. I bet his daughter's like super cool because I have blonde hair and I also love the color green. So we'd probably get along really, really good. Have you seen her around Brookhaven by any chance? We need all the help we can get. You need to beat it. Get lost. We don't know anyone like that. He's yelling at him. Now get off my property. Uh, sorry to bother you, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, dad. Rachel. Where is the food? Well, uh, Dad, you see, the the cashier, the, the one you're friends with, um, he thought I was stealing everything, so he pretty much kicked me out of the store and wouldn't let me buy anything. What? You didn't get anything at all? Um, no, he wouldn't let me buy anything. I told you, he thought I was a thief. And I was like, sir, I'm not a thief. But he thought I was a thief. And yeah, he kicked me out. So, moral of the story, no, I didn't get any food. Rachel, that's it. You're sleeping outside tonight. You are so worthless. What? No, I don't want to sleep outside tonight. Are you kidding me? Let me sleep, like, in the closet at least, like, or the garage where it's warm. I don't want to sleep outside. Don't bother coming in. Wait, Dad, come on, please. Come on, I don't want to sleep. No, wait, Dad, you did not just lock me out. I can't believe he did that. Guys, um, looks like I'm sleeping outside because I couldn't get food. I really hope the crazy dog does not come back and try to eat my toes. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to sleep in a tree. <sighs> All right, hunt for a high tree. Um, can I hide in this one? I really just don't want this dog to eat my toes and I know it'll find me. Um, okay, I can't get up to that tree. What about in here? And <gasps> hey, wait, hi, sir, sir. This is the guy uh, that was at my house earlier. 
earlier. Hi, sir. Oh, hello. But yeah, um, I heard your situation, so I just wanted to offer my help if you needed any of it. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Uh, of course, like, no problem at all. I can only imagine what it's like to lose a daughter. But, like, your daughter seems, like, super cool if she has blonde hair and loves the color green. I gotta say, green's also my favorite color. It's a great color. But if you don't mind me asking, um, how did you lose her? We went on a trip a long while ago. She got lost in a crowd, and, well, we've been looking for her ever since. Whoa! That's crazy. I kind of lost my original parents the same way. I was like out and about and all I remember is getting separated from them and I never saw them again and then I got adopted by those mean parents that you met. Wait, what? Yeah, um, I ended up being adopted like really, really young because I lost my parents somehow. To this day, I still don't know where they are. They're probably much nicer than my parents right now, but unfortunately, I don't think I'll ever, you know, really know. Well, if you don't mind me asking, did you get separated from your parents almost 10 years ago? Yeah, actually, I think it might have been about like 10 years ago. It does not feel that long whatsoever. I... I can't believe this. Wait, what what can't you believe that Could it be? Could it be what? What are you what are you talking about? Could you be our daughter? Wait, you think I could be your daughter? That's a uh, kind of crazy, right? Right. We need to go to the hospital and get you tested right away. If you really think that you might be my real parents, I mean, let, let, let's get to the hospital then. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I did not think this is where my night would lead to. I'm just patiently waiting for the doctor to get back with the DNA results. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, this is so scary. Like, what if they're like, no, it's not a match. And then I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry to waste everybody's time. Goodbye forever. Like, I don't know. Like, that's so awkward. So yeah, we're just waiting for the DNA results. The doctor took one from me. He took one from the lady named Becca and one from the guy named Randy. Um, And they're going to see if our DNA matches up with each other to see if we are related. I'm like super eager to see what the results are going to be in. Both Becca and Randy wanted to stay with me when we got the results. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. This is definitely not how I expected my night to go. And oh my gosh, the doctor's in. Okay, we have the results. Okay, uh, doctor lady, what are the results? Let me know. What is it? What is it? All right, the DNA is a match. They are your real parents after all. Wait, really? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is so exciting. I can't believe I found my real parents. Thank you, doctor, for letting me know. But oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys are my real parents. This is crazy. Oh, I'm so excited to bring you home and be a family again. We can finally be a family. I know, guys. I am so excited for this. I've only had a family that's absolutely hated me. So I can't believe I actually found my real parents again. This is so exciting. Should we go talk to your current parents about this? No, I think they'll be fine. Honestly, they kicked me out and made me sleep outside. I don't think they'll really care that I'm not coming home. So let's go to your guys' home and be a family again. I'm so excited. I can't believe I actually found